Alyssa from Cute Critters 33 and today's video is going to be all about hamster wheels. Um, so before we get started I just want to say um so for Robos and Dwarfs the size recommendation is around six inches to seven inches don't quote me on that I really don't know correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's that it's somewhere around six inches inches and then something smaller maybe bigger I don't know let me know about that. Sorry, guys. And then, but that's, so that's for dwarfs and robos. And then for Syrians and Chinese hamsters, the size recommended wheel size is 8 inches to 11 inches. The reason why you do not want to get a bigger wheel um, or a too big wheel for your hamster is because your hamster can flip in the wheel easier and can hurt themselves. And that's not good at all. And the reason why you don't want to get a wheel that's too small for your hamster is because when your hamster is running in it, their back will bend and it could possibly break or they could just suffer a very serious injury. The first wheel that I will be starting off with is the comfort wheel that I have directly in front of us, me, you, yeah. Um, so this is the comfort wheel and it is the eight and a half inch one in fuchsia. And they come in many different colors. I decided on this color. I mean, I exact, didn't exactly decide on this one. I got this from Amazon. You can get them at like PetSmart and Petco. Um, but I didn't know if it was, I didn't know what color it was coming in. So it came in that color, whatever. But I was hoping for a blue, but whatever. Um, so the comfort wheels are pretty silent. Well, they're fairly silent. And this particular one, I don't know if they have them in small enough sizes for dwarfs or robos, um, but they this one is a good size for Syrians because it's eight and a half inch, you know? I think they have them in a good size for dwarfs, but I'm not sure. I don't have very much to say about this one. Um, the only thing I ha really have to say is that they're supposed to be quiet. I think I, I said that they were quiet, but I meant to say that they were not quiet. They're not quiet at all. They're actually quite loud for me. I mean, I don't know if that's just my particular wheel, but they are not that quiet. Um, so that's all I have to really say about this. But the cool thing about the comfort wheel is that if you look in the back, it has that thing on it, this thing. And like, if somehow you can take it off and then you can just clip the wheel without the wire standing thingy and then you can just clip it onto a wire cage but I obviously do not have a wire a, a wire cage so I've actually never done that before and I'm too scared to try. The wheel that I will be talking about is the Woden wheel and so here is a picture of it. The Woden, Woden wheel there are three sizes there is the Woden wheel junior the Woden wheel senior and the Wobust Woden wheel. The Woden Wheel Junior is eight inches, and that one's good for Syrians and Chinese hamsters. I recommend any of the Woden wheels for dwarfs or robos because they are too small, and the wheels are pretty big. Um, so only for Syrians and Chinese hamsters. Then for the Woden Wheel Senior, it is 11 inches, and that one I would only re recommend for a larger Syrian um, because Syrians can be that large. So only if your Syrian is that large, I would get that one. And then the Wobust one wheel is 12 inches. And I think that's a little too big for Syrians or Chinese or any hamster. Um, so that one's more for like rats and stuff. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend that one. The Woden Wheel Junior, or well, all the Woden Wheels are pretty quiet. I mean, I have I don't have one, so I haven't really tested it out or anything, but I my friend has one and it is pretty quiet. So um, I would suggest that wheel because it is quieter than most wheels. Next wheel is a silent spinner and again here is a photo of it. I do not have the silent spinner but there are three sizes of the silent spinner. There is a mini that is four and a half inches and I recommend, well that one's a little too small for dwarfs. And then I recommend, or then there's the regular, which is six and a half, which is recommended for dwarf hamsters and robos. And then the, there's no one in between. So 
Syrians don't really, you can't get silent spinners for Syrians, which is really a bummer. Otherwise I would have gotten one. But there is a large that is 12 inches, but that's too big for a Syrian or Chinese. Um, the, the large one is for rats and chinchillas. The spinner is very quiet because I've played around with it in the store and it is very quiet. So I recommend that one even though I've never used one or I don't have one, but if I got like a dwarf or a robo, I would definitely use the silent spinner. Last wheel, I do not have a picture of, but it is the flying saucer and you can get them from like Petco and PetSmart. They come in different colors, but they are pretty quiet as well. And they just look like a f saucer. Um, I'm sorry that I don't have a picture of this. I'm really, really sorry about that. But yeah, so they're good as well and I recommend that, but they're a little different from a wheel. They're not like the standard wheel. Um, like, they're not like the wheel at all. They're more like, they're like at an angle, sort of like that. So now here are pictures of a mesh and wire wheel. The reason why mesh and wire wheels are not good wheels for your hamster are because um, your hamster is going to be running on the mesh and wire wheels or your, the wheels pretty much all night and when they're running on it that much um, they can having a mesh or wire wheel can cause ha your hamster to develop bumble foot which is a very painful and gross um, disease that develops on your hamster's paws and it is not good at all and if your hamster does happen to get bumble foot take them to the vet right away basically to prevent bumble foot just get your hamster a solid running surface so, like this, solid running surface right here. <laughs> so all of the wheels that I mentioned that I've said are safe, are safe. So like the flying saucer, the silent spinner, the comfort wheel, and the woven wheel are all safe wheels that have a solid running surface. The wheels that are not safe are the mesh and wire wheels that I showed you pictures of. So do not get those for your hamster. If you happen to have those wheels and cannot afford or cannot get to another wheel for a while, then you can just take du duct tape and for the mesh, just put it all the way around the wheel, like on the top and the bottom. You can just do that, like all the way around. And then for the wire ones, you can take the duct, or you can do the same thing, do it front and back, or you can take cardboard and weave it through the drums or the wire things. Sorry. So that was pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any other wheels that you think are good or bad, leave them down below in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Woo! Make sure to like and comment. Thanks for watching and have a good day.